So I'm Charlie McKenna with Lily's Q, and here we are with the 94 gallon mill scale cooker. We got the cooker about 325 degrees, and that's because we're gonna do this uh, like Pillsbury Grand uh, biscuit test. So what we're trying to do is, as you can see, as I open the door, we have this grate. We're trying to get the hot and cool zones from the right to the left of the grate, but also from the front to the back of the grate, right? And what that does is, that allows us to know where the hot and cool zones are, so when we're cooking expensive meat, we can either move the meat or put it in the area that we feel best to cook that piece of meat, whether it be a piece of brisket, rack of ribs, uh, whole chickens. But we'll get started with this bris uh, biscuit test. So basically what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this, these biscuits, we're gonna pop them out, all right? As you twist, we'll keep going around here. At least I think we're gonna open it. So we pop the biscuits open, right? As they come out, we'll pull them all out. Get the biscuits out. Pop some of these. Set those down. All right, we'll pull these, uh, we'll pull the biscuits out. And as you can tell, so we'll take these biscuits. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set them throughout the cooker. In different areas, right? Now we're gonna shut this door and we're gonna let the biscuits cook. And as they cook, we'll be able to see how they brown and where they brown. And then that'll tell us our hot and cool zones from right to left and then front to back which for me with any type of new smoker or new piece of equipment, I like to know what temperatures are where and how I'm cooking, all right? So we'll shut this down and then we'll come back when the biscuits are done and we'll tell you how uh, they finished up for the hot and cool zones. All right, so here we are with the biscuit test where we're testing our cool zones from right to left and also front to back. The biscuits have finished up, so we're gonna open this cooker up and we're gonna show you kind of how the even cooking of the 94 gallon uh, mill scale smoker does. So as we pop this lid open, you can come in You'll see if you go from front to back and right to left, for the most part, all the biscuits are exactly the same color. That's what you wanna see in a really good cooker, all right? You wanna see even cooking across the entire cooking grate. Now, you will see a little bit darker pieces on these two biscuits in the back. Obviously, that's because they're closest to the fire, right? When you have the fire box built on this side and the fire's coming up, it's gonna be a little bit hotter right here when you're cooking. This is a great place where you can put either a blocking log to block some of that heat coming on, It'll also allow you to put your, know where exactly where to put your meat when you have the log in there. Or what you can do is know that you're gonna wanna put your point into the brisket facing the firebox because obviously the point's fatter, has much more mu intermuscular fat. And that'll be closer to the fire, which will help he heat some of that heat off of the uh, flat when you're cooking a brisket. But as you come in close, you'll be able to go through and see all the biscuits are pretty much the same color. And that's what we're looking for in a great cooker is Right to left, front to back, even temperatures for the most part on all the, uh, all the biscuits. So as you come in close, you can see all the biscuits have a very even, nice color on them. And that's what we're looking for. Even cooking on one grate, right to left, front to back. You kind of know where your hot and cool zones are. That way you know exactly where to put the meat that you want and where you want it to cook at. For more tips, products, and recipes, check us out at liliesq.com or you can follow us on Instagram and YouTube.